Transforming your closet with the protective beauty of cedar is an easy weekend project you can do with basic tools. Here is a list of the tools you'll need. First, measure the width and height of each wall of the closet and calculate the total square footage. Then, use our closet planner application at cedarsafeclosets.com to determine how many cedar safe panels you will need. Panels are available as full 4 foot by 8 foot panels or in our handy 21.3 square foot project packs. Separate the panels and allow them to acclimate for 48 hours near the area where they will be installed. Like all wood, cedar will expand and contract as its moisture content changes. Acclimation helps prevent warping or gaps after the project is completed. Clear walls of nails, hooks, shelf brackets, and other obstructions. Walls should be as smooth as possible, but remember, cedar paneling is designed to cover imperfections in existing walls. Remove any existing molding if you're planning on installing decorative cedar molding over the panels. Using a stud finder, locate and mark the stud locations along the wall. Most homes are constructed using studs that are 16 inches apart. Installing your panels is simple. You can nail them in with panel nails or use an oil-based subfloor adhesive to glue the panels in place. If using panel nails, the surface you are nailing into will determine the length of nails you will need to use. If nailing into drywall, use 1 and 1 quarter inch nails. And for homes with plaster and lath, use 2 inch panel nails. Place the sanded side of the first panel against the wall. If there is a product label, it is usually on the unsanded side of the panel and will face out. Nail the panels into the studs from left to right, vertically spacing the nails 6 inches apart on the edges and 12 inches apart in the center. If you're using an oil-based subfloor adhesive to install your panels, apply the adhesive along the back side of the panel in a zigzag motion. Be sure to read and follow the manufacturer's safety and ventilation instructions when using adhesives. Gap each panel 5 8 inch to 3 quarter inches apart if you plan to use cedar style molding to cover the gaps. If you choose not to cover the gaps with molding, leave a 1 8 inch gap between panels to allow for expansion. Cutting and fitting is usually required above doorways also. Nail or glue cedar safe cedar molding over your panels for a professional finish. Nails should be hammered in along the studs. Install any base molding first, then crown molding, followed last by corner and style molding. Consider finishing your ceiling, floor, and back of the closet door for complete seasonal storage. Finally, reinstall your closet hardware. Remember, don't stain or varnish your cedar panels. Doing so will inhibit the natural effectiveness of aromatic cedar oils. Congratulations! You've transformed your closet into an attractive, aromatic, and protective space for all your clothes and belongings. Visit our Cedar Care and Maintenance page on cedarsafeclosets.com to learn more. Are you proud of your newly installed cedar panels? Have you found a unique way to use your paneling that we should know about? What about a helpful installation tip? Show the world! Upload a photo to the customer gallery by visiting the Project Central tab of cedarsafeclosets.com.